I'm Yu Bai's youngest, newest associate director for entrepreneurship. Hey everyone, Manu here. It's been one year on the job, yes, running the top student startup accelerator. And you know what? I can actually believe it's been one year because it's been so, so busy. So let's rewind and recap. I came in at a really, really fortunate time. The College of Business actually got its biggest gift ever. It was $150 million, and it's now known as the Geese College of Business. My first day on the job, I was welcomed into a startup hub called TechNexus in Chicago. I got to meet uh, the founder of one of our biggest startups coming out of Champaign, Avant. And I capped off the evening with a very, very warm reception with VCs, entrepreneurs, and some of the top university administrators in a lovely restaurant right by the river in Chicago. Boy, was I nervous, and I was definitely not ready for this role. But I was determined to do everything in my power to crush it here. My second week on the job, I was already leading large meetings with the top entrepreneurial leaders on campus. I kicked off the new year by committing to contest prep for a men's physique bodybuilding show. I did my first photo shoot of the year. This is when I started teaching our iVenture seminar called Topics in Entrepreneurship to our student entrepreneurs. And I was welcomed by this amazing group of student entrepreneurs. This also coincided with my father being put into the hospital uh, related to health issues, which kind of motivated me to really dig deep into bodybuilding and use it as a way to motivate my family to be more healthy. I got involved with the Discovery Partners Institute, which is a grand plan to build a center for entrepreneurial education in Chicago. So I took my dad to see Black Panther and he stood up in the theater and cheered. It was a big moment for all of us because this is one of the first times we ever saw a foreign, dark-skinned superhero on the big screen. This is around the time that the shootings at Parkland happened. And I talked to a lot of my colleagues about my worries and they told me that we can't live in fear, especially as educators. And instead, we must take action and empower our students, and especially at an educational institution, really focus on what is normal, which is inspiring, growing, and learning. Come March, I was deep into the entrepreneurial ecosystem at the University of Illinois. I was working with VCs, the Research Park, the Technology Center, student entrepreneurs, and going to all sorts of hackathons, conferences, and symposiums. I also invited the managing director of Techstars, the top startup accelerator in Chicago, to come down and actually talk to each of our student entrepreneurs. They graduated two of our student teams from their accelerator this October. 2,000 companies applied, 10 got in, and two were iVenture startups. I witnessed the groundbreaking of the new Siebel Center for Design, a $50 million building and project to bring design thinking to our campus. I also completed the most extensive report on iVenture yet, a 100-page manuscript thick and full of extensive information on all of our cohorts. We've incubated 50 ventures, which means about 150 student entrepreneurs. Out of them, 12 are full-time, and they've raised close to $6 million in counting and created 31 full-time jobs. I took my family to dinner with the provost, former and current chancellors, and gave a speech in front of all of them to the graduating class of I Promise Scholars. I Promise is an awesome scholarship given to students who are high achievers academically, but come from very, very bad financial circumstances. I'm a former I Promise Scholar. I met the former president of Stanford, and the following day absolutely demolished my first bodybuilding show. I then took students on a tour of Chicago's entrepreneurial ecosystem, from really cool workspaces such as Blue, 1647, and awesome tech companies like Google. Took on my two brothers who lived with me in my apartments. That was fun. They were not ready for the boot camp. I woke them up every morning. They had to cook their own food, do their own laundry, no video games, and they definitely worked out. Now comes the most intensive season for me yet. Summer. 13 startups, 45 students, two universities. Imagine mentoring a dozen teams, connecting them to the right resources, matching them with the right mentors, all in a 10-week intensive program to teach them the fundamentals of building your own company, which will culminate in a demo day with some of the biggest entrepreneurs, VCs, and mentors in the state of Illinois. Yeah, I barely slept, but I was really lucky because I worked a lot with the community and I had amazing supportive colleagues who trusted me, a young 24-year-old kid, to run this prestigious program. I also completed my men's physique bodybuilding season by flying out to Houston and competing in Christian Guzman's Alpha Leaf Summer Shredding competition. After this, I started bulking and I started eating a lot of donuts, more donuts than I'd ever had in my entire life. Welcome to our fourth annual Chicago Demo Day for the iVenture Accelerator. After a very successful summer, our biggest yet, I took some time off. I flew to Atlanta and emceed a wedding. I was late to MC because I was actually grabbing donuts. My part of India was devastated by the worst floods it had ever seen in over a century. And a lot of my family members had to relocate. But the good thing is, is that everyone is safe, and now that we're rebuilding. Fall semester, kicked it off with a bang. I had lunch with the woman who designed the emojis for Apple. 
former White House Chief of Staff, the man who built the chip that powered the autonomous vehicle revolution, the first female Googlers, and Tom Cruise's stunt double, we connected with an old buddy, a lieutenant on a nuclear submarine that I hadn't seen in years. And I tested for the local fire department here. Our iVenture student also introduced the former president. When you apply to Illinois, they tell you this place is going to open up doors to big opportunities. As a student standing on this stage introducing a former U.S. president, I can tell you that that is absolutely true. It is my honor to introduce and welcome President Barack Obama. I was selected by my university to go to the largest entrepreneurial education conference in the world where I got to meet the mayor of Chicago. I came away from it really thankful because while we do have a lot of work to do here at Illinois, we are really, really lucky to have amazing people and resources and a really solid entrepreneurial education that a lot of other institutions envy. We rounded out the year by piloting the largest student-run startup conference in the Midwest. Kicked off the new year with a trip to Silicon Valley with the technology management program for a business plan competition revolving around transportation. I was tasked with recording lectures for the MBA program by interviewing top-level executives. I got to interview all kinds of interesting people from the head of transportation at Uber to the former CEO of the Super Bowl. My entrepreneurial journey kicked off three years ago when I had moved to San Francisco with barely any money and only a dream to break into technology entrepreneurship. During this time, while I was learning how to program, design, and do internet marketing, I would sneak into a startup incubator to sleep. Imagine my surprise when the first MBA interview that I had to conduct was right down the street from that incubator. Talk about a homecoming. Whew. <laughs> so, that's one year in review. There's been a lot that's been happening. I wake up fired every day, ready to help student entrepreneurs in diverse industries, making a real impact in the world. It's been a year that has exceeded expectations. Being in a world-class institution, surrounded by innovative ideas, and most importantly, collaborating with smart, ambitious people. I can't thank the students and the young people that I work with enough. They are the champions of this successful year, and I owe it all to them. A year ago, I wasn't ready for this role, but I jumped in, and here's the thing you're never gonna be ready for what life throws at you. So take whatever opportunities you get and run with it. Now, I'm fired up. I'm ready for 2019, not just for the accelerator, but for myself as well. Let's bring it.